не учим, а практикуем. Играем в английский от души. Свободный мощный тренажер. Оксин Лишбот. Телеграм. Пять или шесть лет прошли. Five or six years had passed. А я не видел другого отпечатка ноги. And not another footprint had I seen. Я преодолел мой большой страх. I had gotten over my great fright. Но все же я не был столь отважным, каким был. And yet I was not so bold as I had been. Любой неожиданный звук мог заставить меня вздрогнуть и посмотреть вокруг. Any sudden sound would make me start and look around. Я думал, что если дикие люди были на острове однажды, I thought that if savage men had been on the island once, они вполне могли прийти опять. They were quite likely to come again. Поэтому я продолжал быть на чеку все время. So I kept on the lookout for them all the time. Мое стадо коз выросло и стало очень большим. My flock of goats had now grown to be very large. И мне требовалось другое поле. And I needed another field. Я хотел спрятать некоторых из них в потаённое место. I wished to put some of them in a hidden spot. Где дикари, если бы они пришли, не нашли бы их. Where the savages, if they did come, would not find them. У меня уже было маленькое стадо в одном таком месте. I had already a small flock in one such spot. Как я вам говорил. As I have told you. Но теперь я желал иметь еще одно. But now I wish to have another. Ища подходящее место. In looking for the right kind of place. Я обошел весь остров. I went all over the island. Я вышел даже на скалистое место за тем местом, где я держал каноэ. I even went far out on a rocky point beyond the place where I kept my canoe. Когда я стоял на скале и смотрел на море, As I was standing on a rock and looking out to sea, я подумал, что увидел лодку на расстоянии. I thought I saw a boat in the distance. Это было лишь пятнышко на воде. It was only a little speck on the water. И казалось, оно поднимается и падает с волнами. 
and it seemed to rise and fall with the waves. Это не могла быть скала. It could not be a rock. Я глядел на него, пока мои глаза больше не смогли смотреть. I looked at it till my eyes could look no more. Я сохранил подзорную трубу с корабля. I had saved a spyglass out of the ship. Но как было угодно судьбе. But as luck would have it. Я оставил ее дома. I had left it at home. Как я желал ее тогда. How I wished for it then. Видел ли я в действительности лодку или нет? Whether I really saw a boat or not. Не знаю. I do not know. Но пока я шел обратно вдоль берега, shore, я решил никогда больше не выходить без подзорной трубы. I made up my mind never to go out again without my spyglass. Я шел медленно, думая о том, что увидел. I walked slowly along, thinking of what I had seen. Вдруг я наткнулся на то, что заставило мое сердце остановиться. All at once I came upon that which made my heart stand still. На песчаной, спускающейся к береговой полосе красивой маленькой заводе. On the sandy, sloping beach of a pleasant little harbor. Я увидел не только один отпечаток ноги, но сотни их. I saw not only one footprint, but hundreds of them. Я стоял, как вкопанный, боясь пошевелиться. I stood still, afraid to move. Но отпечатки ноги – это было не все. But the footprints were not all. Берег был покрыт костями и кусками мяса. The beach at one place was covered with bones and bits of flesh. Как на скотобойне. As in a slaughterhouse. Некоторые из костей были довольно свежими. Some of the bones were quite fresh. Некоторые были опаленными огнем. Some had been charred with fire. Здесь дикари устраивали пир. Here the savages have been holding a feast. Сказал я себе. I said to myself. Немного дальше я увидел, что в песке была выкопана яма. A little farther on I saw that a pit had been dug in the sand. И здесь у них был костер. And here they had their fire. 
Зала еще была теплой. The ashes were still warm. Я задавался вопросом, какой пир эти дикие люди устраивали. I wondered what kind of a feast these wild men had been having. Были дикари на материке, которые, как говорили, убивали и ели пленников. There were savages on the mainland who were said to kill and eat the captives. которых они брали на войне. Whom they took in war. Их называли каннибалами. Cannibals, they were called. Могло это быть пиром каннибалов. Could this have been a feast of cannibals? Были ли это кости и мясо человеческих существ? And were these the bones and flesh of human beings? Я задрожал, когда подумал об этом. I trembled as I thought of it. Я развернулся и побежал от этого места так быстро, как мог. I turned and ran from the place as fast as I could. Я бежал, пока не мог двигаться больше. I ran until I could go no farther. Я опустился на землю. I sank down upon the ground. Когда я отдохнул немного. When I had rested a little while. Я смотрелся и обнаружил, что я был не очень далеко от моего замка. I looked around and found that I was not very far from my castle. Все вокруг меня было мирно и спокойно. All around me was peaceful and still. Я был определенно спасен от беды. I was surely safe from harm. Со слезами на глазах. With tears in my eyes. Я упал на колени и вознес благодарность Богу. I knelt down and gave thanks to God. Я благодарил Его, что Он сохранил меня живым и невредимым на протяжении стольких многих лет. I thanked Him that He had kept me alive and safe through so many years. Я благодарил его, что я был выброшен на сторону острова, который никогда не посещали дикари. I thanked him that I had been cast on the side of the island, which was never visited by savages. За все удобства и благословения, которые были моими. I thanked him for all the comforts and blessings that were mine. Затем я встал и пошел домой в мой замок. Then I arose and went home to my castle. 
когда я сидел перед своей дверью в тот вечер. As I sat before my door that evening. Я обдумал весь вопрос. I thought the whole matter over. И мне стало намного легче. And felt much easier in my mind. Я пробыл на острове 18 лет, прежде чем увидел первый отпечаток ноги. I had been on the island 18 years before I saw the first footprint. Я пробыл там 23 года, прежде чем увидел другие признаки дикарей. I had been there 23 years before I saw any other signs of savages. Было похоже, что много лет пройдут, прежде чем какая-либо беда постигнет меня. It was likely that many more years would pass before any harm should come to me. С этими мыслями я лег в мой гамак и спал без страха. With these thoughts I lay down in my hammock and slept without fear. Но прошло долгое время, прежде чем я пошел опять на дальний берег острова. But it was a long time before I went again to the farther shore of the island. Я даже не пошел взглянуть на мое каноэ. I did not even go to look after my canoe. Дни тихо проходили. The days went quietly by. Я держался довольно близко к замку. I kept quite close to my castle. Я занимался козами и зерном. I busied myself with my goats and my grain. Я постоянно был на чеку. I was always on my guard. Я никогда не выходил из дверей, сначала не осмотревшись. I never stepped out of doors without first looking around me. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. Robinson Crusoe written anew for children by James Baldwin I am again alarmed. Five or six years had passed, and not another footprint had I seen. I had gotten over my great fright, and yet I was not so bold as I had been. Any sudden sound would make me start and look around. I thought that if savage men had been on the island once, they were quite likely to come again. So I kept on the lookout for them all the time. My flock of goats had now grown to be very large, and I needed another field. I wished to put some of them in a hidden spot where the savages, if they did come, would not find them. I had already a small flock in one such spot as I have told you, but now I wish to have another. In looking for the right kind of place, I went all over the island. 
I even went far out on a rocky point beyond the place where I kept my canoe. As I was standing on a rock and looking out to sea, I thought I saw a boat in the distance. It was only a little speck upon the water, and it seemed to rise and fall with the waves. It could not be a rock. I looked at it till my eyes could look no more. I had saved a spyglass out of the ship, but, as luck would have it, I had left it at home. How I wished for it then! Whether I really saw a boat or not, I do not know. But, as I walked back along the shore, I made up my mind never to go out again without my spyglass. I walked slowly along, thinking of what I had seen. All at once I came upon that which made my heart stand still. On the sandy sloping beach of a pleasant little harbor, I saw not only one footprint, but hundreds of them. I stood still, afraid to move. But the footprints were not all. The beach at one place was covered with bones and bits of flesh, as in a slaughterhouse. Some of the bones were quite fresh. Some had been charred with fire. Here the savages have been holding a feast, I said to myself. A little farther on I saw that a pit had been dug in the sand, and here they had had their fire. The ashes were still warm. I wondered what kind of feast these wild men had been having. There were savages on the mainland who were said to kill and eat the captives whom they took in war. Cannibals, they were called. Could this have been a feast of cannibals, and were these the bones and flesh of human beings? I trembled as I thought of it. I turned and ran from the place as fast as I could. I ran until I could go no farther. My breath came fast. I sank down upon the ground. When I had rested for a little while, I looked around and found that I was not very far from my castle. All around me was peaceful and still. I was surely safe from harm. With tears in my eyes I knelt down and gave thanks to God. I thanked Him that He had kept me alive and safe through so many years. I thanked Him that I had been cast on the side of the island which was never visited by savages. I thanked him for all the comforts and blessings that were mine. Then I arose and went home to my castle. As I sat before my door that evening, I thought the whole matter over and felt much easier in my mind. I had been on the island eighteen years before I saw the first footprint. I had been there twenty-three years before I saw any other signs of savages. It was likely that many more years would pass before any harm should come to me. With these thoughts I lay down in my hammock and slept without fear. But it was a long time before I went again to the farther shore of the island. I did not even go to look after my canoe. The days went quietly by. I kept quite close to my castle, and busied myself with my goats and my grain. I was always on my guard, and never stepped out of doors without first looking around me.